Okay, I'm going to show you how to do some uh, graphic effects on an image uh, using Photoshop to create some really pop art effects. Um, and the first thing to look at in this image, I've already processed it up. I've used levels and a few other bits and pieces to create a quite a saturated image, quite a bright image. I've cropped it and I've converted it to um, CMYK color. That means I can have four channels. You can split your channels if you're in RGB mode too, but you'll only get three channels that way. Okay, so we're going to go to the channels palette, and here, this little menu here, I can split the channels. Now you'll see that I've now got four images. Each one has a tag on it telling me which particular channel that was. Okay. The black one, um, I'm just going to actually leave that because I want to use that the blacks solid. For the others, I'm going to apply a bitmap halftone screen, so that's mode bitmap halftone screen, and you can put in your angle and your frequency here. Now the frequency is how big the dots are. I'm going to use um, an ellipse that seems to work quite well and I'm going to use a fairly coarse screen because I want it to be really obvious what's going on here so I'm going to plug in a value of say 15 lines an inch uh, 45 degrees that's fine for the first screen and you see what I'm talking about now it's a really coarse screen we'll do the same thing on this one here so that's mode bitmap same thing again but you have to change the angle every time typically it's 30 degrees so that would be 75 now and do the yellow one as well and 30 that'd be 105 okay now we're going to pile them all back up and make them uh, colored. So first thing we've got to do, coming back to this one here. Okay, so currently it's in bitmap mode. The only option available to me is grayscale. So we'll go through grayscale. And then mode. Come down to duotone. Now this is the cyan plate. Okay. Now you want to check this here uh, in the duotone options. Make sure it is monotone and then you can click this panel here and choose you'll need to go to your color libraries and choose your Pantone colors and in your Pantone set right up the top well maybe not that set let's get a let's try this one here nope okay There we are, that's what I'm looking for. The Pantone press colors. Okay, so this was CN. Okay. So we'll do the same on the magenta one. Image mode through grayscale. Image mode dual tone. It's magenta. Same with the yellow one. Okay. Now check what mode this is in at the moment. It's image mode grayscale. We need to change that to CMYK color for this. Okay, so back to the CN plate now and this will be in duotone which won't work either so it has to go back to CMYK color and this one here now they're all in CMYK so what I can do now is copy them so the shortcut key on a the Windows computer is Control A to select everything, Control C to copy, bring it over to this one here and Control V to paste. 
Control A, Control C, Control V, Control A, Control C, and Control V. Now you'll see that I've got my plates stacked up one on top of the other there in the channels. So if I go back to my layers here now, you can see I've got a yellow layer, a magenta layer, a blue layer, and a black layer. What I need to do here is to change the mode to multiply. And you'll notice it goes transparent when I do that. And same with this one here. You don't need to change the bottom one. Okay. Now you can see what I'm getting at. That looks like a, a, a half tone screen, like a very crude or a magnified image from a magazine or something like that. What I can then do, just to make it a bit more interesting, is I can start to mask out areas. Okay, so I'd add the mask here. And of course, if you know about using masks, you use the brush tool in black and white, and you literally paint areas out on the mask. So you must have your mask active. You can change the size of your brush using the square brackets on the keyboard. I'm just going to take the yellow out there. 